And there's different reasons people do that. There's a, a mate, a mate who I hadn't spoken to for fucking eight years um, recently, and uh, he he was in clip, and I ended up, I didn't know because I I hadn't spoken to him for eight years. Last time I seen him I was on the circuit in Iraq. Went down. Uh, someone messaged me. I can't remember how the fuck I knew, I got told about it, but he's not living far from me. Um, anyway, I got his number. I texted him, and um, I ended up going down the next morning. And he was not in a good way, and. He was just drinking himself into oblivion. Mm-hmm. Like he was, and he had done stuff before that to, to fucking try and end things. But it's like, mate, what the fuck? And he, he was just embarrassed. Um, so <coughs> so I'm, I'm embarrassed, mate. I, I don't. Well. And he was. In, <coughs> right. <laughs> he said, uh, he said I'm, I'm just embarrassed, mate. Mm. Embarrassed about what? And he's embarrassed about the fact that. He's, he's a man in with nothing, a man in in tatness, a man with literally nothing, you know. Not seen his wife, not seen his kids, uh, you know, living on his own, can't even go to work. He's signed off on work. He got, you know, he's struggling with money. He's just and he's just he can't sleep. He struggles. To, he struggles to sleep. He, well, mm. he can't sleep. So he started drinking to be able to get to sleep. Doesn't work. Now he's just drinking. Well, not now, but he's just drinking all day constantly and not wanting to speak to anyone for one reason: embarrassed. It's like, mate, you're not the only one. Yeah. This is not uncommon. It's like people struggle with stuff. You, you can't fucking solve it unless people know. Yeah. And again, it goes back to that. It ain't it ain't a sob story. I'm here to help you, mate. I'm here because I give a shit. You know, I, I, you know, I, I don't feel sorry for you. I don't, think, I don't think you're any less of a person than you were eight years ago. You're the fucking same guy. You're just on hard times. And you can't get out of it on your own. You cannot, in most these situations, get out of it on your own. Mm. Almost all of them. I couldn't have done it if it wasn't for people, mates, some partic- specific mates, not a load of them, but it takes something, one person or, or one or two people just to connect with something, mm. to keep saying, speaking to you, and just to connect at one point. And you go, fucking hell. And then you you make a decision, you make the right decision, it starts you're on the, on the opposite spiral. You can't fix it yourself. This stuff you can't no. because it's mental. It's not a mental health. Your brain plays fucking tricks on you, and it'll convince you that there's no option. There's no there's no way out. Mm-hmm. That's what it does. There's no way out, and you just keep going down. It's the only way you know how. The only way you know which you get ready to go because that is fucking impossible. Yeah. Because you oh, all of the options and all of the solutions are no longer on the radar. You can't see them because your brain's clouded by whatever, by thoughts, by feelings, by fucking alcohol, by anything, by family situations going on emotional situations going on fucking work situations going on and everything becomes a fucking nightmare and there's no way out and it takes people around you to show you there's normality and there's options and there's ways to get out there's ways to get help 